So as I have mentioned in a previous video, I was working on a DWM status bar script and I found this on GitHub. I'll go into DWM bar script. So as you can see, it's updating the resources, all the resources each and every second. If I go into weather in this project, weather, weather, weather. In here, it's sending the request to that endpoint, specific endpoint, each and every second as for this script. So that's not exactly what I want because like uh, when I execute that, even though I'm, you know, deattached in the process, it's going to slow down my, you know, window manager. So I tried to change it to something, you know, independently updated components, but in bash, I was totally failed because my um, bash knowledge was absol absolutely trash and because of that I started a python project this is it the DWM status and it's working quite well so I'll start with one of one or two components I'll open CPU and weather here the component will decide when to update its you know details you see here it's creating a thread and after some time after the given time it's going to run itself so this is updating each and every two seconds but the weather component will update each and every hour not second hour so the component will decide when to update its com uh, content so component is in control of that so that's one special thing about this you know program um, so another thing is when we have to control you know like um, volume keys key press i got a something called on signal decorator i'll go into that so this will uh, so this decorator will wrap the original what is that um, callback and it will put all the methods in into this array and it will call when he got a what is that a signal so let's see all these in action first thing you need to do is clone the project I already got it so I'll go into that GWM status now you can execute GWM status.py you see uh, what it's doing here is it's setting basically setting the exit root name now if I enter something here it's going to update in the status bar that is exactly uh, what is happening in the background but the question is um, how efficiently are you updating it okay now I'll execute dwm status.py it will you know load all the resources into here now if i hit actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to start another terminal window and i will bring my pulse what is that audio control thing and i'll decrease decrease the volume to 49 and i'm gonna send a signal i'll send kill um, sig user 1 this is a custom signal and i'm sending it to this process i'm getting the process by you know using pcrep so when i send this you will see it will update the status bar look at this uh, right uh, top corner you see it updated the volume now we need to kind of automate that process so what i did was i will i created a a uh, you know shortcut in uh, sxhkd program so i'll open that config and we config in here what is that sxhkd this is the file i'll full screen that and i don't need this anymore here what i'm doing is i'm i'm using uh, pulse ctl to increase the volume by 10 percent and at the same time i'm sending the signal to status bar to update itself so now i will run sxhkd you can run it in you know xinit rc or something like that uh, some kind of a init script i'll run it here for this video and now i'm going to hit volume up 
you see when I press the button it's updating the status bar so handle key binds are so easy with this uh, program um, and that's how you do it so I guess that's it for this video if you got any questions you can ask them in the comment section and I will answer as soon as possible okay that's it have a nice day